what are we looking at here? Well, freedom of expression, section 2 B. To be or not to be. So said some bash Freemason. Right? So, coincidence, not coincidence, they say it's a provision. Everyone has the following fundamental freedoms. Fundamental freedoms. Freedom of thought, right? You can think your your own thoughts, apparently. Oh, but that brings to mind something. Uh... So, to be your thoughts, your beliefs, opinion, and expression, including freedoms of the press and other media of communication. Communication. Okay. Very interesting, right? Very interesting. Similar provisions. Similar provisions may be found in the following Canadian laws and international instruments binding on Canada. Section 1D and F of the Canadian Bill of Rights. Bash, bash, bash. This and this and bash. Of the American Declaration of the Rights and Duties of Man. Wow, who knew that there was rights and duties? So what happened to uh, the philosophy that ah, there's no purpose? Ah, it doesn't mean anything. You give it meaning. And this and that. Well, what about this? What about the duties of man? Hmm? Apparently, it's in the law. It's in the Bill of Rights. It's in the Constitution. It's in this. It's in the Bash. This, this, and that. Oh. So, e even now, are men driven by lawlessness? They're, they have a law, but they are going around about it. They are bypassing they live by their own law of do as thou wilt. And that's what Aleister Crowley pretty much said it would be in the sense of that's what they are standing on, that principle of doing what you want. But nothing is outside of the resolve of the Creator. Nothing is surprising the Creator. It is all prophesied by his word. And whether we deem it good or evil, it is fulfilling the word of God. Yet, we all have a place in that fulfillment. And there is the adherence unto the Lord's righteousness or adhering to the rebel works of darkness, the spirit of disobedience those who serve Satan and are bound by his traps and prisons. So what I found very interesting in this freedom of expression, right? So there is uh, unalienable rights as fundamental freedoms stated here. Uh, similar provisions, purpose, the protection of freedom of expression is premised upon fundamental principles and values that promote the search for and attainment of truth. Participation in social and political decision making and the opportunity for individual self-fulfillment through expression. Wow. Right? A lot to unpack there, but I think it pretty much as condensed as it can be in legalese terminology. But what stands out is this, right? It's all the, this pur the purpose of having, you know, the Freedom of Expression Act or Bill of Rights or whatever, bash, is protection of freedom of expression, right? For what purpose? To promote and search and at the attainment of truth. 
Hmm. What is that? Because most people say, look, my truth and your truth and everybody's truth is allowed. And then we hate each other for it. Because I hate your truth and you hate my truth and this and that and that. Oh, let's kill everything. So this in itself um, infers that there is an absolute truth, right? So the purpose of having this expression of freedom and protection of being able to express yourself is so that there can be a basically a subscribing to the truth that the truth may not be put away at least that's what it would appear as being promoting right because in practice it's everything but right everything is everything is permissible other than practicing the truth meaning the word of god the wisdom of god through man standing in the righteousness of the Lord Jesus Christ. But in man's principles, it's his own assertion that he gets to protect these unalienable rights, apparently. And the participation in social and political decision-making, right? This is their, their, their bread and butter right here. Polit social and political decision-making. That's right there. In a nutshell, that's the bread and butter of the arrogance and pride of man. All through their courts, right? So they're through their courts of assembly and their courts of magistrates and judges and attorneys, right? So this is all very... appearing, you know, to be righteous, virtuous. But in practice, you can, one can very much just, just uh, detect that there is a very skewed, censored, or in part blinded version of the apparent reality the apparent truthfulness of our lives which are not our own yet we're led to believe they are that we're all individual lives kind of just floating around and it's our effort that makes it all worthwhile into becoming something greater than ourselves through uh community and through empathy and through all these nice words that sound good, that tickle the ear, but then in practice seem to fall apart because there's all these different standards of what it is. And the main contender out there that defines all these words is a, is a counterfeit. It's a counterfeit that stands for the archetype of humanity the notion of a common good, the philanthropy and the uh, altruistic uh, virtue that is to, you know, give back, right? To leave the earth in a better place than it, it is that you found it. All these notions that somehow seem seem virtuous, but in practice, they all fall apart because if there is not the foundation of Jesus Christ on which to build upon, then it's it's worthless, it's vain. And that is true. That is the truth. But no, man has gone completely rogue and lawless. Even though he has law to by which boast his authority over other men, but he himself breaks that same law or goes about to create all sorts of loopholes within loopholes so that all these laws ba basically are stacked against man and ultimately against the man of God. So th the, the, the very curious thing as well that um, I found in this on this website is 
the following. So the Supreme Court has adopted the following three-part test for analyzing Section 2B. One, does it, the activity in question have expressive content, thereby bringing it within Section 2B protection? Question mark. Does the method or location of this expression remove that protection? And three, is the expression, I if the expression is protected by Section 2B, does the government action in question infringe that protection, either in purpose or effect? Hmm. Very intriguing questions, but then it goes further. Does the activity in question have expressive content, thereby bringing it within Section 2B protection? Number one. Well, expression protected by Section 2B has been defined as any activity or communication that conveys or attempts to convey meaning. The courts have applied the principle of content neutrality in defining the scope of Section 2B, such that the content of expression, no matter how offensive, unpopular, or disturbing, cannot deprive it of Section 2B protection. Being content neutral, the Charter also protects the expression of both truths and falsehoods. Very interesting, right? So you can both promote truths and falsehoods and that is protected under this section to be mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. freedom of expression includes more than the right to express beliefs and opinions it protects both speakers and listeners expression quote unquote may include all phases of the communication from maker or originator through supplier, distributor, retailer, renter or exhibitor to receiver, whether listener or viewer. Protected expression has been found to include and this is where um, it became rather disturbing for me unless I don't understand why it's there because it's, so, uh, expression has been found to include music, art, dance, po postering, physical movements, marching with banners, blah, 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 etc. Commercial advertising, okay. Pretty straightforward. Posters on u utility poles, okay. Peace camps, okay. Signs and billboards, picketing, okay. Handling out leaflets, expressing oneself in languages of choice, hate speech even. And here's where it gets weird. Pornography and child pornography. So why are these two things th under the protection? Especially... The latter, right? Child pornography. That uh, that seems to be covered in the protection of two section two B. Hmm. Interesting, right? Noise being emitted by a loudspeaker from inside a club onto the street. Importation of literature or pictorial material. Defamatory libel. Voting. Running as a candidate for election, spending in election and refunder, blah, 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 broadcasting of election, engaging in work for political party or candidate, publication or of polling, information and opinion surveys, monetary contributions or fund may constitute expression, blah, 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 smash. Okay, so. <clears throat> and then it goes further, right? Freedom of expression also protects the right not to express oneself. Interesting. So, I mean, it is all very interesting, but the implementation of what we see all around us as far as the pragmatic execution of these statutes or these bills of rights or these amendments or whatever technical word we use to describe codes, Rules, regulations, laws, bylaws, statutes, this, this, the other, right? I mean, it's relentless. Yet, why 
do things that we consider repulsive all of a sudden are protected, right? As expressive content. And then you can say, well, okay, it is protected, but then the details of it are case specific and you can go in there and then that's how people get arrested. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And then you have the right to not express yourself. Amazing. Right? So it's because everyone has the following fundamental freedoms. Freedom of thought, belief, opinion, and expression, including freedom of press and other media of communication. Hmm. Very interesting. So why do we live in a world filled with censorship? Very good observation that most people come to have. And most people just justify by like, well, you know, okay, it's not good to say hateful things. Well, even hate speech is protected. Right? Hate speech, right here. Hmm. Interesting, right? Unless I'm completely reading this wrong and these things do not fall under, you know, the protection of the freedom of expression. I don't think so because does that mean music and art and dance and posting are not? Of course not. Everybody would go up in arms if it, if all of a sudden censorship would, would be all over the art world. But of course, by that time, it's too late. Most uh, examples that we have of the uh, implement or the coming down hard of a tyrannical government you know the 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 proponents of a liberal society usually are from the arts world departments philosophers artists musicians blah 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 this this is writers authors like you know historians and this and whatever bash right and perhaps not but you can see in history that usually when they're freedom of expression comes to be censored, then all of a sudden it's too late. By that time, they did, they get disappeared. Um, they come and they confiscate everything and it's all gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. And all of a sudden you don't have to, you don't have the freedom to express your art anymore. You can't publicate your, you can't publish your newsletter. You can't publish your posters. You can't create certain cartoons. You can't mention this word you can't mention that word you can't insinuate this you can't make reference that you can't ridicule that you can't make fun of that you can't do this blah blah blah, blah. you can't speak ill of this thing or that one or this one and but sometimes this one and only if we get permission for that okay we grant it all right but did you pay your fee did you get a permit okay five revoked send them to jail off with their head off with their head So what is all this? Well, it's supposed to be there to protect you, right? Hmm. So the you know as as this um declares at the beginning, right? And other media of communication would not the platform of any social media qualify under that category? Well, a simple answer would be yes. Why wouldn't it? And so you say, well, the content of these platforms is then censored by the actual moderator or the creator of the of this service. And the government doesn't have a say in that, right? Hmm. Well, maybe so, but maybe not. Because even in their guidelines, they say, well, it's it's up to the local authorities and bash, bash, bash. Because... Um, When I I got this notification that the because on some platforms, right, you you can upload certain information, but then other platforms such as this one, they'll it'll get taken down. It'll get taken down, and then they'll give you like an an uh, opportunity to uh, okay, do you refute it? Do you refute our decision to bash, take it down, and censor you? Okay. We'll pretend that we'll allow you to dispute it. 
and then they give you this these links to to basically educate you right to provide you the right correct information so that this doesn't happen again otherwise you will be deplatformed amazing because apparently the safety of our creators, viewers, and partners is our highest priority. What does this say? It this say that this says that it pro it it um protects the process right from the creator to the distributor to the listener, whether be it heard or or viewed. Right, that's what we just saw. So the whole gambit is covered, right? So okay, it seems legit. But then how do they protect that? Well, by just uh, censoring and not allowing certain content. So how can child pornography and all these other bash things that people would probably protest against be covered under these things? But then, oh, no, 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 no. You can't talk about certain things. Because forget, you know, the actual behavior of, you know, what goes behind... <clears throat> you know, the people participating in pornography or this or the other, uh, you can't even say certain things now. Amazing. So we'll go, f I'll, I'll mention a b few brief things here because I haven't really even particularly taken a, a, a detailed look at all of this, but it says that you better understand what they're talking about. Take the time to carefully read the policies. Otherwise, you'll be smashed as hard as we can. Because it possesses a serious risk of egregious harm. Didn't you know? It's harmful. Hmm. So who gets to decide what is harmful and what is not? Hmm. What standard are you using? Hmm. Who knows? Certainly not. God's standard of truth? Certainly not. That is for sure. See, and this is where it says, um, this platform does not allow content that spreads medical misinformation that contradicts local health authorities. So it appeals to the authority of the local area in which you live or the country in which you live and this other institution of who and obviously this is the overlord right so very interesting i mean they they declare who their master are, is immediately and these are the things Tre on treatment prevention diagnosis transmission social distancing and the existence of this apparent teeny tiny thing and what's very interesting is that later further down they give you examples Right? Treatment misinformation. Content that encourages the use of home remedies. Interesting. So what about indigenous traditional knowledge that you that you cry about that, you know, should be allowed to be practiced? Nope. Not allowed anymore. Maybe in some circumstances. What about the whole ritual of uh, truth and reconciliation? What about all these bad things? Nope. Home remedies or traditional remedies? Nope. Not allowed. Nope. You can't promote them. You can't even encourage them. Content that claims that there's a guaranteed cure. Hmm. Isn't that you, what you hear on the news every day? They say, oh, it's so amazing. It works. It works. It works. It works. So they are agreeing. They are proponing. They are encouraging people because they say it works. So in many ways, they are saying that it's guaranteed. It's a guaranteed no-brainer that you will be protected. Amazing. But then they're like, no, 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 no. You can't promote anything that guarantees a cure. No, 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 but it's not even real. Hmm. Content that recommends use of this thing or this other bash thing. Hmm. And on and on and on. Prevention misinformation. Uh, so they give you pretty much pretty uh, explicit or de or um, specific examples. Content that recommends use of this. About, wow, look at all these conditions. Claims about the 
this that contradicts experts' consensus from local health authorities. Hmm. So it's surprising that you don't see things like this for things like climate change. You'd think they'd be on it already. Maybe they have. And many other things. Many other things associated with the precepts and statutes of God that they, on paper, seem to be protecting, right? As they, the first thing that they mention, unalienable rights. And then the further you go down into the details of what that is, it's like, well, wow, how do you actually inf inf enforce this in practice if, it, if it's so convoluted and it seems kind of contradictory in its own right? And this and this and that. And you're like, well, look at all the references to other bars and blah, 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 blah. And the, and the precedent of that trial and this and this and that and this is referencing this other version. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, man. Endless. Wow, look at all the conditions. Diagnostic and misinformation, transmission and misinformation, social distancing bash, examples, <laughs> denial that this exists, claims that people have not died of this, claims that a vaccine, blah, 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 blah. Wow. Look at all these conditions. Amazing. educational documentary and so this is where exceptions may be had right but only to ridicule or to satire them and for the effort of making it uh public right so it's only allowed if you make fun of it and show how how ridiculous it is to believe any of these things that might be said that you could come to hear and then you're too stupid to make any sense of it all now, so you that's why we're protecting you by just deleting it. What happens if content violates this policy? Well, you get three strikes, and then you're out. Bash, 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 and smash. Right? And this is, they give you a nice little video for this other misinformation policy, and you better watch it because it's coming hard for you. If you're posting content, da 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 da, ingredients to this con content misrepresenting the substance contained in the by this and that is my examples, claims that by this cause chronic side effects such as cancer, diabetes, and other, you can't even talk about. You can't even ma mention this. Claims of this reduce risk. Nothing can't. No. Oh, and you said this. Oh, I'm sorry. You get debashed. You can't even be a testimonial or content or this or the other. What happens if content violates this policy? Well, you get smashed again. Additional resources, go to these links and be indoctrinated further. And finally, misinformation policies, because I won't go into the elections misinformation policy, but it's all the same bash. If you're posting content regarding this, you will be smashed. And examples, harmful blah, 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 harm, <laughs> harmful remedies and cures, suppression of senses, participation, and manipulated content. This all could be said that are the tools that mainstream media uses every day in every story that they pump out. So um, in itself, they, they it's a double standard because they get to do it, but you can't. In the sense of they get to do it, but then when you actually want to provide um, something that perhaps um, refutes their position or provides considerable uh, challenge to why it is that we should be accepting all these. They're like, nope, you can't. No dissent allowed. No, you can't even question it. Who are you? Who are you to question our authority, basically? Amazing. Even though they themselves use these, the fact that they're telling you all these things and the, and how it's so perfectly laid out and they have ex specific examples and that means that they know what they're doing. They're like, yeah, yeah, we know that this is what we've done. These are the conditions by which we have been smashing you all along and now we're going to put them out there and say that you can't do them. Even though people aren't necessarily using these 
um, specific guidelines to challenge the narrative, but they're actually just speaking. They are expressing themselves. They are apparently exercising their fundamental freedoms, but all of a sudden, no, 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 because it goes against our purpose. It goes against our social and political decision-making, and therefore, you will get smashed, and you will be turned into the T-word. That sounds like, that rhymes with errorist. <laughs> uh, okay, well, what, why is this all important? Well, at some point, it was important. One could argue that it's no longer important because nobody really cares anymore. As long as they get to be a participant in the delusion that is coming forth, full-fledged full like a tidal wave, they don't give a bash. Right, the this served its purpose for a time, until it, until it was necessary, and at which point now it's turned against you. Things like psychology, psychiatry, every every technique under the sun that man has basically taken credit for, all which are um, techniques that he learned and practiced in the shadows, and basically was enlightened through whispers in the dark, visions and dreams, inclinations of sinister origins. Yet man has boasted them up to be ingenious. The works of a beautiful mind but all in all, there are meanders that have led us to fall right into the trap. Because no longer do men stand in the precepts and statutes of the Lord. In his wisdom that crieth out. In his understanding that edifieth and holdeth fast a man in righteousness. For man has led away, has been led away, and sought after his own righteousness in all sorts of purposes that he thinks are real. There's no other purpose other than to come to the Lord. There's no other purpose than to repent and serve the Lord consciously, serving the will of God to fulfill his word. There's nothing there's nothing that will happen that is not according to the will of God. So we either do it consciously serving and loving the Lord or we do it necessarily hating God, thinking that we're getting away with our own way and doing what we want, but ultimately end up serving as he said would happen you know he says that there will be those who are the rebel the rebellious haters of god so he has described perfectly the uh, overall outcome whether we like it or not of how it all goes down how it all is fulfilled and jesus christ has finished it and we are witnessing the resolve. We have been fulfilling the resolve and in the day and age in which we live we think that somehow we're at the cutting edge of something. But there's no other outcome that happens other than what the Lord has said shall happen. And nothing is in place by accident. Nothing that the world has put in place is there by accident and it's not there serving some other conspiratorial purpose that man may come to think it is. 
but it's all in place to make war against God and the word of God and those who love the Lord. That's the whole scheme of what the world is and has been doing. And man deceived is fulfilling that and bringing it for manifesting. All triggered by the release of Satan after the thousand year reign of Christ with his saints. And the end describes that the camp of the saints is encompassed. So there are saints in the latter years, in the in the end. Right before the old earth and the heavens fall away. Replaced by the new heavens and new earth. Because according to this, freedom of expression in Canada is not absolute. And then it says why. Section 1 of the charter allows the government to pass laws that limit free expression. So long as the limits are reasonable and can be justified in a free and democratic society. What does that mean? Reasonable and can be justified in a free and democratic society. Lies. Lies and lies upon lies. So remember how this says uh, freedom of thought. Well, Corinthians, Second Corinthians ten four says for the weapons of the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought, every thought, to the obedience of Christ and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your disobedience is fulfilled. Amen. So the f just because we can think that we can, can apparently think all things and have the freedom to apparently think all things. We are to put into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Passing it through the filter that is the mind of Christ. That is what a servant of God is to do. For if we are to entertain every thought and lead and be led by every thought that we choose or, or, or deem ourselves free to think, that's like saying allowing, you know, ourselves to be led astray. But no, God says, put it, it, put it into captivity to the, to the obedience of Christ. Christ did not let himself be led astray. Even though he was tempted, he did not sin. He was exposed to everything that man is exposed, yet without letting himself be led astray. He is the perfect man. And our opinions are but dung, right? If we are not oriented and standing fast in the truth of God then of course then we stand our, our own subjective opinion based our own relative experience and our own subjective anecdotal chronolog chronological sequence of events that we call our activities of life but if we stand in the truth of God then we become testimony Everything that we've lived gets passed through the standard that is the word of God, and we get to speak 
on how it is that the Lord is righteous, for clearly we are not. Yet we are saved and cleansed by the blood of Christ. We get to speak of the works of the Lord. We get to proclaim Him as righteous and glorious, and there is none beside Him. There's nothing else to necessarily boast about. What freedom is it that we think we have that we're supposedly fighting for to then go out and live to whatever it is that we want? You know, as to say, my end result of my life will be as what I want it to be and whatever it is that I choose to. As if the end of every individual man is any different. How is the end of a poor man different than the end of a rich man? They all die. They all have the same terminal end. And why is it that we have life? Well, that we may be joyful. That we may have peace and righteousness in the Holy Spirit. And not seeking after the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. Proverbs 16.13 says, The king is pleased with words from righteous lips. The righteous lips are the delight of kings, and they love him that speaketh right. Righteous lips are a king's delight, and he who speaks honestly is beloved. Ephesians 4.25 Therefore, each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to his neighbor, for we are all members of one another. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are all members one of another. Hebrews 1316, and do not neglect to do good and to share with others, for with such sacrifices God is pleased. Forty King James says, but do good and to communicate forget not. But to do good and to communicate, forget not. For with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. So to communicate and to do good is a sacrifice in itself. The, pre the previous verse says, Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise the fruit of lips that confess his name. Amen. Psalms 119.72 says, The law from your mouth is more precious to me than thousands of pieces of gold and silver. The law of thy mouth is better unto me than thousands of gold and silver. Psalm 119.100 I understand more than the ancients because I keep thy precepts. I have more insight than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. I discern more than the elders, for I obey your precepts. I have kept my feet from evil, from every evil path, that I may keep your word. Proverbs 3.14 says, For she, wisdom, is more profitable than silver, and her gain is better than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire compares with her. Psalm 19.10 The heavens 
excuse me, the fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true, being altogether righteous. They are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the comb. By them, indeed, your servant is warned. In keeping them is great reward. Proverbs 8.19 with me are riches and honor, enduring wealth and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, pure gold, and my harvest surpasses choice silver. I walk in the way of righteousness along the paths of justice. And that's wisdom speaking. God, the Spirit of God. So this is all very insightful because everything that this apparently protects everything that the, the law of the land under man protects somehow does not <clears throat> it does not even come close to what the word of god is and everything that every servant every prophet of god has ever come to recognize right david himself solomon um are that the, the 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 context the context and the meaning and the purpose of the word of god is richer than any material gold or or the purest silver could ever be worth Heart more precious than rubies and like jesus um taught you know, it's the kingdom is like the kingdom of heaven is like a man that findeth a treasure in a plot of land and he selleth everything and he buys that plot of land because he knows how worthy it is. So every man that comes to recognize the word of God as the most valuable thing because it is the tree of life. It is that which brings substance to a man, that which brings a man from dark into light, that which restores your mind, your heart, your the love that man has been relentlessly seeking in a state of corruption, in a state of voidness, trying to fulfill your, your, your life with women, with excess, with rioting, with partying, with this and this and the other with gain, with money, with all sorts of frivolous things that disappear. So the word of God is that which replaces all that and gives the the fullness of life, the breath of life to a man, and wherefore he can come and love his neighbor, speak truthfully with his neighbor. As Ephesians says speak therefore putting away lying do not speak lies right even though the charter pr apparently protects falsehoods as much as it does truth hmm. but apparently not when it comes to talking about things that may be egregiously harmful hmm so who who decides that well i i i go with the what the word of God says is harmful because my heart recognizes it, its value, its truthfulness, for the Lord has written in our hearts that which is His. And we'll, we will not be swayed by the shimmering beauty of things that rust and fall away. So do not be deceived. This is, this is what we are to hold fast to and not to be led astray of man telling us, oh, your rights are being taken away. Really? No way. Nobody can take the truth from my heart. Nobody can 
supposedly take my freedom of speech. No, just as in, just as John and Peter, um, we have exa- the uh, record that they kept preaching Jesus Christ. They they kept teaching. They kept proclaiming the words of the Lord, you, despite being told by the authorities of the synagogues, the the high priests, and this and the other, to to stop. And they said, "Well, what else do you want us to do? We cannot, for we have seen this. This is what we know in our hearts. This is what we have seen, and therefore, this is what we communicate to do good and to communicate. Forget not." For this is pleasing. For with such sacrifice, God is pleased. More precious than thousands of pieces of gold and silver are your words, Father. Amen. Let us be filled in his wisdom, by his wisdom. And just as Corinthians, Second Corinthians ten four says, so that we may be able to stand, and bring down strongholds. Not with carnal weapons, but with the truth. With the truth that is everlasting. And has not changed since the beginning. And though the world will tell you that things always change, well, the one true thing that doesn't change is the Word of God. Amen. For it is the standard, and it is love. It is the tree of life, and every man that cometh to believe on the man, Christ, the branch, the olive tree, who was sent and lived on the earth, born of a woman, laid down his life to wash away and put away sin in his flesh and rose on the third day. Fulfilled the law, fulfilled the word of the prophets. And he himself revealed to John the revelation of Jesus Christ as we have it in the book of Revelation. Our purpose is clear and we are to detach from that which we have been trained by the world to attach to but because we know it's worth, not because we're forced to, or not because we're threatened to lose uh, apparent privileges or services or, or, or protections. No, the Lord is our refuge. The Lord is our shield. We lose nothing if we stand fast in the truth, if we stand fast fast in the body of Christ. For we are dead to the world. We are dead. For we accept that we're sold under sin, but we are alive in Christ. Hid in Christ. Let us be made perfect in the love of God. Let his love be made perfect in us. And perfect love casteth out fear where we don't need to necessarily go about the standards of the world and what they deem quote-unquote right and wrong, valid, invalid, for our standard is the Lord. And we do not fear the carnal man, for we fear the Lord. Amen. All these threats of censorship, they will fall. They will fall by their own traps that they have set 
for it. They will be ensnared by the by their own entrapments. They will fall by the same ditch that they set forth for th for their enemy to fall. But no. The word of God is truth. The word of God filleth a man in all aspects. Not just in what we could come to call the spiritual aspect. No. In every in every way. If we allow it. If we surrender to it. And rid of our pride. The Lord resisted the proud. But the humble. The humble are blessed. For we seek not the praise of the world. We seek not the reward of the world. Rejoice, for the Lord has finished it. Jesus Christ is Lord, and we are to stand fast in His word. There's no other standard but His. And if we have any doubt concerning what we have been taught about His word, ask the Lord. Ask the Lord for clarity. Ask that He reveal further insight that may further direct you in your way be not double minded but confessing your faults to the lord and we're to have we're to have fellowship with one another as well and speaking not lies anymore all the lies that we justify as being okay oh it's just white lies to not hurt others feelings or this or the other well, what happened to speaking boldly, not in 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 deceit, forsaking falsehoods, false appearances? Not to hurt others, but because of love. Out of love, is it that truth prevails? The Lord loveth, which is why He. Gave it, which is why the word became flesh, to manifest, to reveal his love. Amen.